Hello there! In our today's tutorial we're going to talk about 5 common mistakes while working with Affinity Photo. They are mistakes made by beginners, so they are not really errors, they simply features that new users are not aware of. So the first mistake is to simply select the wrong layer. So if I select the layer below, but I intend to erase the layer above, the layer I can see, I select erase the tool and I start erasing and nothing happened. And this is really frustrating for new users because there's no error, no indication, no pop-up window about that. But if I switch off visibility of this layer above, I can see I was erasing all of that time on the wrong layer, layer below. If I switch layer, I can erase here as well. So that's mistake number one. People do not pay attention to the currently active layer. And then they try to use their tools. And it seems like the tools don't want to work. But actually they are working on the wrong layer. All right, the mistake number two is to simply use some kind of selection tool and then finish with that, but forget to deselect. So I still got this little selection here. I select my paintbrush. I plan to paint here. I painting, 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 painting. Nothing's happening here again. I check my layers first. All right, I'm on the correct layer. That's good. And try to paint again. Nothing. That's because I can only paint inside the selection. So if you left a little tiny selection somewhere, you cannot use any tool outside that. So don't forget, go to selection above and pick deselect or simply use common or control D to deselect. All right, so pay attention to layers, pay attention to selection. This is mistake number three. Some people rotate the canvas by mistake. Super easy to do if you are on mouse with touch surface at the top, like magic mouse. Because if you press command or control and then you swipe the surface, you will rotate your canvas. Simply go to view and from here you can reset rotation. And we are back on regular rotation. All right, that was our mistake number three. Mistake number four is to apply destructive filters. If I select this layer over here, I will be able to modify this image by applying filter directly on it. So if I go to filters, there are several different filters that I can apply. There's also secondary method of doing that. If you go to a layer tab, you can add something called live filter layer. But first let's try with a destructive method that most people use. So filter tab and let's go with the simple blur. Now I got the slider over here. I can adjust that and that's it. I permanently change this image. I cannot do any adjustments or switch off the filter. Let's undo and try with a special live filter layer. Looks similar. I got this slider as well. It will blur my layer. But take a look in my layer panel. Now, below the image, there's additional layer for the filter. So in any moment, I can switch the filter on and off and I can also modify the value of the blur in any moment. So this is a non-destructive filter by adding filter layer from the layer panel. That's really, really handy because we can always modify our filters or even delete them if we don't need them anymore. All right, that was our tip number four. Try to use non-destructive filters. And the last tip will be to save your history with the document. If you go to files, you got option to save the history. If you do that, even you close and reopen document, you will be able to see all of your steps. So you can go back in the history panel and try to reduce some parts or, or simply 
maybe you want to modify the project, you want to go back several steps, you make some mistakes, that's all right. Normally the history is erased after you close the document, but if you go to file, you can select option save the history file, so you can always do that even after you reopen a file. All right, I hope those five tips were very helpful for beginners. And if you are totally new to Affinity Photo, I got great news for you. I just released my new Skillshare class. This is Quick Start Guide for Beginners, for people that never ever use Affinity Photo. So if you are one of those people that just bought Affinity Photo recently, you want to learn more about it, I got this one hour long quick start guide on my Skillshare. I will drop the link to that class in the comment section below. Thank you for today and I hope I will see you in my next tutorial here on YouTube. Bye!